Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with some new products and a new high-end um, foundation that I'm trying out. And so I thought I'd go ahead and get started and show you what I did here. Uh, as far as what I have on for my primer today, the Supergoop uh, Glow Oil. This has an SPF of 50. And, then, and as far as being older, um, it gives my face a little bit of oil and a little bit of moisture and at my age, yeah, that works. So that's what I have on as my primer right there. Um, as far as what I have that's new, I had had a couple of high-end foundations. I mean, if I can get the mints for it, I consider them high-end. And so um, I used actually I used them up. I used my LYS up and so I wanted to try something new and I went ahead and got the Haas, yeah, Haas Laps, House Laps and mine is in Fair Cool uh, number 50 so that's what I have on there. Uh, this is really emollient. I've worn it a couple of times and I found that I really need to go ahead and set it with powder that it has a lot of slip a slip to it, especially when you put it over, you know, an oil primer here or um, an oil SPF. So, yeah, uh, not only do you need to go ahead and set it with some powder, but you need to give it about five minutes in the morning to go ahead and actually um, <clears throat> set in. As far as uh, the coverage, it's really pretty. I call it medium, um, maybe a little bit higher than medium but again I think it's really pretty and um, as far as what else I have on my face here um, I did go ahead and use the hard candy their face off this their bronzer and this one's in sweet pea so that's what I have on there and then as far as what I've been able to see with blush with this summer it seems to me as far as what I'm seeing is the blushes that are based in red are actually pretty popular right now because they kind of give you a ruddy look but they also give you a look like you've been out in the sun rather than the look that you put a blush on so um yeah i'd say ruddy kind of it covers it today i have uh the tarte exposed one or blush on and so that's what i have on and again it's based in red and it just gives you the look that you've been out in the sun rather than like a pink blush which is sitting on top of your skin and makes you look like you have blush on so um that's what i have on there and then as far as highlighter, I did go ahead and mix two. So I have the Heroin uh, Glow 2 by Juvia's Place. And I went ahead and mixed this one with the Seismic. So Seismic is by ColourPop. And I went ahead and mixed these two. And this is going to give you a light gold with a little bit of shimmer in it. And this is going to be a darker gold, and they work really well together. So uh, that's what I have on as far as the highlighter there. And yes, I do like a lot of highlighter, so it worked well for me. And um, as far as what else I have on the face, the NYX Thick It Stick It in Cool Ash Brown. I did go ahead and mix my mascara. So I used the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Wear. This is a tubing mascara. And then I went ahead and put the Sky High by Maybelline over the top of it. So I really got some length and volume in my lashes. And um, yeah, I don't have I don't have long lashes. So mixing these two kind of helps me to have some lashes. And then I went ahead and used uh, the La Cienga by ColourPop. It's one of the glowing lips. And the So Glassy by ColourPop and Epiphany. And so that's what I have on the lips. That's kind of how that turned out. Um, as far as what I did for my eyes today, um, I did go ahead and pick up this Dreamscape by Profusion, and it's a really pretty palette. It's over at Walmart, and usually with Profusion,
distribution pallets, they cost anywhere from about five to twelve, fourteen dollars. Uh, this one, how many? This is twenty-one shades, and I think this one was like ten fifty or so. And so this is what I went ahead and used on the eyes today. Um, I started by playing over here, so I actually used this color, um, this sort of mint green, as my base color and in the crease, and then I added some of this uh, really pretty emerald green into the crease as well. Um, I added some of this color. This is actually a duochrome. It's called uh, Delirious, and I went ahead and put some of that into the crease as well. I ended up uh, going ahead and putting this uh, really pretty mint shimmer red on the inner corner and then the gray on the outer corner of the lid. And as far as what I did for the eyeliner, I put some of the emerald green um, from about the midway to the outer corner and then from the inner corner to about midway I went ahead and put this delirious color and uh, both of these two are like duochromes this one goes uh, green to gold and this one goes let's see I didn't actually use that color today but it's a really pretty yellow and um, it's it has a yellow to green kind of flip to it and this one has a gold to green flip to it and this one has a lot it's really a high shine color so um yeah uh two duochromes and a whole bunch of really pretty shimmers um you can take it to uh let's see if you want it to go completely grass green you could or you could take it into a gray green so you could um there's all sorts of green variations in here and just all sorts of pretty colors so um i definitely would go ahead and recommend it if you're looking for something that you could do that's going to give you you know some color but it's not going to be neon you know all the way um, you could definitely, well, I love Profusion's formula. They just have um, some really pigmented, really easily blendable uh, formulas. And so it's just something that if, I, if I'm there, I'll pick it up. So, yeah, really like this palette. I think it's a good one from Profusion. As far as the way that the eye look turned out, that's the way that that turned out, and I think it turned out pretty well. Um, again, this is a new to me palette. I just got it. It's called Dreamscape by Profusion over at Walmart. And if they don't have them out at Walmart, you can order it online. Um, a lot of times you'll find these on Amazon as well, or Profusion has their own website. And um, other than that, I think that's just about the whole look. I I like it. I think it came out pretty well. And um, I think uh, I'll go ahead and give you an update on the house labs later. Um, I've worn it a couple of times, but I haven't really gotten to a point where I have a whole review on it. So I'll probably be doing that a little bit later. Um, but other than that, that's kind of the way that the look turned out. And uh, that's where I see the summer trends kind of going from where I'm at. And uh, I think that's just about all. And uh, thank you and have a great day. Bye.